welcome to vlog three. We're at a place called Steinsdale Fossen, which is pretty much something waterfall. Um, and yeah, we are on our way to a glacier because we were going to go to Trolltunga, which is a pretty famous cliff if you've ever looked it up. But the parking for Trolltunga was no around 90 dollars Australian just for the day so you had the privilege of going on a 22k hike <laughs> so as much as I love hills and I love mountains uh, I don't like paying 90 bucks to park for the day so we're gonna do something different off to a glacier and we just stopped off here because it's along the road Halfway, we're not too sure. Toth's just putting up his drone now to see if he can see the glacier around here, but it's pretty cool. We've got some snow going on and some views, but we see some people, you can see people skiing just there, um, but with some people walking over here, so we're thinking that's the way you have to go for the glacier. That's the glacier over there, and there, and there. I'm just Cherries. They're even more than the strawberries. But they look like they'd be tasty for you. Yeah. past nine and after seven hours of driving today we finally made it to our campsite which we we're very lucky to find so I sh it's just a little tent here a little beach here which Toph isn't happy about pegging the pegs into a little boat a little scenery and then forest just here so it's pretty cool so we're just gonna cook dinner and go to bed really because I've got an early morning tomorrow going to Produce Stolen I think it's called Pulpit Rock, Pulpit Rock is the English version of that word so Stay tuned. Good night. This is our view for dinner. Sitting on the pier. Overlooking the sunset. So it's getting earlier and earlier the more south we go. Yay, it's so beautiful. morning on the Monday the 16th which is the sixth day apparently uh, we're on the way to Pulp Rock uh, which is translated oh, Norwegian is Pridges Stolen so Pulp Rock uh, I went here in 2006 last time insert picture so we're gonna put a picture in there um, but yeah this one the parking for this one's a little bit cheaper so we kind of have to do this one anyway We'll take you along for the ride.
Alright, so we're driving down the road and we saw these mountain carts, as they call them, on the side of the hill. Uh, which is just these sketchy looking three-wheeled trikes. Uh, and so they hook you up to a tow rope and up the hill you go. Uh, multi-use uh, for ski resorts in the summer. So this is the end of the sixth day of our trip. Um, today, all we do is really hike and drive and set up in this beautiful campsite, which you'll see all that footage from. Um, tomorrow we've got an early morning, maybe around five o'clock, if the weather is okay for us to walk up another walk, because um, apparently it's about 10K long with lots of incline, so we'll see how that goes. And it's gonna get bad weather. And we've got some bad weather coming in, so. And then we've got a big drive again to almost near Oslo for our last try few days in Oslo. So that is so all. So we started our hike at six o'clock this morning on our way to Kiri Bolton. We're not sure if that's how it's pronounced as always, but um, it should be, it's this beautiful rock sitting in the middle of a cliff. So Toe Frickens is gonna go out on it. <laughs> I'm not too sure. We've got about 10K walking and a lot of steepness, um, which will be a lot more than yesterday. I think yesterday was about seven, eight K. Um, and we're a li li bit, bit sore today and a bit more tired. Um, it'll be an adventure. These are popular destinations to get the shot you want uh, is quite often the queue. But at 7.30 in the morning, there is no queue. Good work. How was it climbing up on the rock? Yeah, I think I'm not as young as I used to be. It was all right, it wasn't too bad, but it was good fun. It's a little bit of a... Whoa. <laughs>
set up for our last night of camping on this gorgeous lake um, just outside of Kongsberg I think it's called um, tomorrow we're driving the last two hours into Oslo which is the capital of Norway to stay two nights at an Airbnb so um, I'm gonna end this vlog now and start off with a new one just about Oslo and some things that we learned about Norway as well in the next vlog thanks for watching <laughs>